Hey guys, so Drop has there, and today I'm going to show you how you can add an Elgato capture card to OBS. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to get your Elgato capture card working with the Elgato software. So if you need to have drivers installed, you need to install them. If you're using a device that is driverless, then you shouldn't have to worry about it. But you want to make sure that your capture card does work with the Elgato software. Now if you have an external one and it's saying USB communication issue detected, I have done a video on how to solve that. So I will just show you that my current capture card is working with the software. So in this machine, I have an older HD60 Pro installed. So that is a non-external one that's done through the PCI slot. But as you can see, it currently can capture the video. So to add the device to OBS, we will just open OBS up. And then we will click the plus icon. Then we will select video capture device. Then you can give it a name if you want. I'm just going to leave it on the default. And then in the device drop down, you want to select your capture card. So for me, that is the HD60 Pro. And then you want to click OK. And there you go. That is your Elgato capture card added to OBS. So this means now if you record, if say there is no signal, it will then still keep recording just the no signal screen instead of with the Elgato software where it keeps chopping the video clips up and only tries to record when there is an active video signal, which may be what you want or may not be what you want. This way you can then decide whether you want to use it through OBS and have one full recording or use it through the Elgato software and have multiple separate clips. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget the like button. If you decided to hit the dislike button, subscribe if you like this, and I'll see you another time. Bye.